In this video, we're gonna talk all about tax. Well, I'm gonna to attempt to teach you all about tax. A lot of people have asked me to make a video talking about um, the different types of tax, how it works, how you how it works with an Amazon business, and just, just how it works. So I've spoken to my accountant and I've written a bunch of notes on this piece of paper because this video is gonna have a lot of numbers in it. It's gonna be quite complicated or confusing. Um, so I would say, get a piece of paper, get a pen, write some stuff down, and I'm gonna try my best to tell you everything that I know <clears throat> that I know about corporation tax, personal tax, dividends, and VAT, okay? If I make any mistakes, I'm not an accountant, and I would always, always recommend for you to speak to an, a professional, like professional accountant and everything, but this is what I know, and I've got my calculator here just in case. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, leave a comment down below if you've been waiting for this video for ages and you're happy that it's finally here. But leave a comment down below now, don't wait for the end of the video, just let me know your thoughts and, um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So we're going to start with corporation tax and that's going to be an easy one. Corporation tax is 19% at this point in time um, on profits, okay? So you pay 19% corporation tax on your profits. Now, this is something your accountant will work out when you give them all your numbers. I'm not expecting you to have to do this, uh, but I'm just letting you know anyway. So 19%, that's an easy one. Let's, let's get out that one. Personal tax is different, okay? And at the end, I'll link them all up and say how that works, okay? Personal tax, so personal tax is um, how much, so you pay personal tax on your income that goes to your personal account. So let's say if you make 10 grand, sorry, if you make 50 grand um, from the company and you pay yourself 10 grand, that 10 grand is what's considered your income, okay? So up to 11,850 pounds is, is zero tax, zero percent, okay, zero. Um, again, this is all in the UK as well, I'm not doing America. This is all in the UK. So that's zero percent. Um, from 11,850 to 46,350 is taxed at 20%. Um, for 46,350 to 150,000 is taxed at 40%, and over 150,000 is taxed at 45%. So I'm going to give you um, just a, a world, ex like just I'm going to give you an example, just to make it easy for you. If your income is 100,000 pounds, which means your personal income, forget business, forget everything else, your personal income into your personal account is 100,000 pounds, how much tax do you pay? So if I've worked this out correctly, um, forgive me if I haven't, but I think I have, um, 11,850 is tax free, so put that aside, 46,350 is taxed at 20%, and that would be tax of 9,270, I did say there were gonna be a lot of numbers in this video. And then that leaves us with 41,800, which is taxed at 40% because that's in the next bracket up. So 41,800 at 40% tax is 16,720. So if you have 100,000 pounds in earnings to your personal account, you will be paying tax of 25,990 pounds. Gosh, that was a lot of numbers. So, I don't know why I'm saying such a smile on my face. I bloody hate tax. Twenty, nearly twenty-six thousand pounds. God, that's ridiculous. But besides the point. So that is personal tax. Let's talk about dividends, because this is where people get really confused. So, you can dividend basic is basically when you take a lump sum of money from your company. Um, to your personal account as a dividend, okay? Call it a bonus, a Christmas bonus, whatever you ever, whatever it's called, it's called a dividend, okay? And um, up until, what was it, the 6th of April 2018, um, it was 5,000 pounds tax-free on dividends, but now it's 2,000 pounds, what can you do? So, with dividends, 2,000 pounds is tax-free, okay? So you could take a 2,000 pound dividend and it'll be tax-free. Now. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you another scenario here, okay? Another example, okay? Let's say that your business earns 30,000 pounds, okay? You take a salary of 8,160, 
so you don't have to pay um, income tax or national insurance, okay? Um, so your salary is 8,160. You take the rest as a dividend, which is 21,840. How much tax do you pay? So only the first 2,000 pounds is tax free. So that leaves us with um, having to pay dividend tax on 19,840. So what are the rates for um, dividend tax? Well, up to 34,500 pounds is taxed at 7.5%. Up to, um, sorry, 34,501 pounds to 150,000 pounds is taxed at 32.5%, okay? And over 150,000 pounds is taxed at 38.1%, okay? So, looks like you'll be in the lower rate, you'll be in the 7.5% rate because it's 19,840 that's taxable. So you'll pay 1,488 pounds in dividend tax. Let me just make sure I've got that right. Okay, I believe I've got that one right. Um, my only concern is that I remember it saying that um, dividend, um, your personal income is also taken into account when you have to worry about the rates of how much tax you pay. So for example, 34,500, you pay 7.5%. If you take a personal income of 10,000 and dividends of um, 30,000, you'd be above that rate for some of the money that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments and I'll try and explain it in a better way. Okay, so we've now discussed corporation tax, personal tax and dividends, and let's now discuss VAT. So, firstly, you don't have to register for VAT until you pass the 85,000 pound revenue a year threshold, okay? Um, you can sign up earlier if you want. I don't know why you would. Maybe if you have a lot of outgoings, then it could be worth it. But that is the threshold. Dividend, uh, sorry, VAT, you pay 20%, okay? You pay 20% of your revenue. Remember that, it's your revenue, not your profit. So if you earn, um, if you get 10,000 pounds in revenue and only 2,000 pounds profit, okay? You are paying 20% VAT on the revenue, on the 10,000 pounds, you've got to remember that. Okay, now there are other um, VAT schemes. <clears throat> if you get to that point and you're past that threshold of 85,000 but you don't want to be registering, you can go for the flat rate scheme. Um, now, I'll explain the differences, um, but let me just quickly tell you what the flat rate scheme is. The flat rate scheme um, is much less. So it, all categories have a different percentage of what it would be. Um, in my category, which is retail on Amazon, so it would be considered a retail other, um, our flat rate scheme is 7.5%. And um, in your first year, if, if, your first, if your business is in its first year of being VAT VAT registered, then you can get a 1% discount for the first year. So um, for our first year, we only paid 6.5% um, VAT. And we had to because we were over the threshold of 85,000 anyway. So that saves us from doing, being on the 20% scheme. Now, what is the difference? Why would anyone go for the 20% over the 7.5% one? Or, by the way, just so you know, that 7.5% is just for our category. They're all different. They can be 14%, it can be 18%, it can be 4%. It's all different. You have to look online to see what category you're going to be in. But if you're selling on Amazon, then it's pretty much 7.5%. Um, okay? Now, what is the difference between the two of them? So, you may know when you buy something, let's say you buy a computer from Apple, they will charge you VAT on top of the price. So let's say the computer is 2,000 pounds, you'll get charged VAT on top of that. If you have a VAT registered business, okay, um, and you're on the 20% scheme, so the normal, normal um, VAT registered business, you can claim that money back, okay? You can claim that money back. So if your business, if you buy a lot of computers in your business and you buy, um, computers and this and that and all these different things, right? And it works out that you've got a, a thousands of pounds to claim back, then you can claim it back, okay? If you're on the flat rate scheme, you cannot claim back. And, um, you cannot claim back, okay? However, however, and this is what I just found out, which is new information to me, you can 
claim back if a single article, so a single item, is worth over £2,000, including the VAT and the item cost. Okay, if it's worth over £2,000, then you can claim back the VAT on that item. If it's less than £2,000, then you can't claim back. Okay, that is the main difference. Okay, that is the main difference. Um, if I've missed anything out, then by all means call me out in the comment section because again, I'm not an accountant. I'm just a 23 year old person who has been asked to make this video. So I've spent ages researching and speaking to my accountant and trying to figure out all the numbers for you. So I hope this made sense and I hope the numbers made sense. Um, look, if, if it doesn't, then what can I do? I hopefully it does. And I told you I was gonna try and link them all up for you at the end and give you an example of, um, let's say you have an Amazon business or whatever business it may be, um, how to work it through the steps. So let's say you are make, let's say you are VAT registered, okay, and you have a hundred thousand pounds in business revenue. Okay, and this is why I'm using the calculator because I've finished with the piece of paper now and this is all coming from my head. So you have a hundred thousand pounds of um, business revenue, okay? And by the way, you pay VAT every quarter. Okay, so let's just say you have a hundred thousand pounds. Um, that's why it's hard to work out. So a hundred thousand pounds over the year. Okay, so let's do twenty percent because you're just doing the normal one. Okay, you're paying. I don't know why I had to do that on the calculator. That's just stupid. I'm gonna get my pen. I've lost my pen. Okay, okay, hundred thousand pound business revenue. Okay. I should do it on that. You know, I'm gonna do it on that. One second. Okay. I never use this, but I should. Oh, I do use this. Ooh, I use this a lot. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but I hope you can. I should get a bigger pen, shouldn't I? Sorry for this. This is a very. Okay. I found my pen. So, we said, Income, uh, revenue, sorry, revenue is, uh, how far can you see? Okay, you can see this. R equals revenue is 100,000. Can you see that? Yeah, it looks like you can. Okay, that's the revenue. Okay, VAT, off the bat, would be 20,000, okay? Blam, that leaves you with 80,000. Now, you can pay yourself a salary, okay? And I'm not going to work out all the different costs of the business to work out the profit. I'm just gonna make up how much profit this business is making because I can't be bothered making up all the numbers. So let's say the business is making, um, oh no, 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 you pay yourself, okay? So you paid yourself, what was it? What was the threshold? 11,850. 11,850. Woohoo, you don't have to pay any tax on that, okay? Remember, this is your personal account, so P, I'll just do the whole word, personal, okay? Let's say the business made 40,000. Okay, the business made 40,000, so that means the business is paying 7,600 in tax. So this is P for profit, and then and then T for tax is going to be what? 7,600 pounds. Okay, so whatever that is minus that. So 42,400. Okay, that's what's left over. This is a bit of a mess, but whatever, I don't care. That's what's left over, okay? Now, let's say you pay yourself a dividend. Gosh, this is going to get really confusing. But um, if you paid yourself a dividend of 10,000, Okay, first 2,000 is tax-free, remember? So that leaves us with 8,000. 8,000 comes under the threshold of the 7.5%, even if you add it to the 11,000, which remember I said I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that. But, so, you now have 8,000 at 7.5%. 8,000 times, okay. That's just, that's, a, that's wrong, okay. That's right. You'll be paying. Um, 600 pounds, so 8,000 dividend, give that a D, 
whatever, it's a D. Um, and then you're paying T again, or DT for dividend tax of 600 pounds. So that leaves in your bank account, um, what is it? That leaves in your bank account, uh, let's add this on the so because I can't bother working it out. Remember, you took a dividend of 10,000, but two is tax free. Okay, remember that. So you've got 11, okay, so it's gonna be, what is it, 21, 850 minus 600 equals, you got 21,250 in your bank, okay? In your business, you've got a bit less because you've got 42,500 in profit, okay? It makes really weird noise. I think it stopped recording, but I don't know. Okay, so remember, you had eighty thousand. Uh, you had a hundred thousand revenue. Twenty thousand percent went back. Um, VAT. You had eighty thousand left. Okay, plus uh, minus a bunch of other expenses. You've got forty thousand in profit. Okay, you're paying seven thousand six hundred, which leaves you with forty two thousand five hundred. You then send yourself ten thousand pound dividend. Woohoo! You're rich. Okay, you send yourself ten thousand pound dividend. That leaves you with thirty two thousand five hundred. Wicked, okay? You've got 32,500 in the bank and you've got 21,250 in your personal account and you're good. Big smiley face. Amazing. All right. Let's get rid of this thing. <sighs> I hope that made sense. It probably didn't, but if it didn't, there's nothing I could do about it. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And that is it for this confusing, complicated number video. And please don't request any more complicated number videos because my mind is getting a migraine. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.